Hey everybody, good morning. So glad uh, to uh, be with you this morning for our 10 to 10, the last one of the week. It's Friday and I uh, hope you've had a good week so far. I hope this is gonna be a, a great day as we uh, approach, approach the weekend. And uh, anyway, glad to have you guys getting on this morning and uh, thank you for jumping in and, and uh, being a part of this. So do me a favor as you're getting on this morning, uh, go ahead and share it uh, on your Facebook. Just hit the, hit the share. And so uh, we want as many people to hear God's word as possible. So uh, just share it. You never know who needs to hear uh, what's going to be said today. Um, so anyway, good to, good to have you on here. Uh, can you believe it's Friday? Uh, I, I can't. Uh, it's going really fast. So anyway, uh, so here we go. Here's the joke for the day. I hope you're ready for it. Uh, now, okay, get ready. Here it goes. So what, and maybe you've heard this one. I, you might have. What did the ranch say when someone opened the refrigerator door? What did the ranch say when someone opened the refrigerator door? Close the door. I'm dressing. Yeah, scandalous. That's a scandalous uh, joke. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, there you go. Uh, that's what the ranch says. All right, so let's move on. Uh, let's. We're in the last part of of our Psalm 139 study. So. Uh, Anyway, so Psalm 139, we're going to be looking at the rest of it, uh, verses 17 through 24. So if you have your Bible or if you have your device, go and open it up uh, to that. And let's read through it and talk uh, just a little bit about that. So here's what it says in Psalm 139. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. Uh, how vast is the sum of them. If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake and I'm still with you. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God. O men of blood, depart from me. They speak against you with malicious intent. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with complete hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any grievous way uh, in me and lead me in the way everlasting. So what we find in this part of the psalm is we've kind of walked through this incredible psalm as David recognizes that God knows him, he has uh, created him, he knows all about him, he knows uh, the words that he says before he even says them. Really, it comes down to the fact that God knows us better than we know ourselves. And that's what David has recognized. And so we walk through this and, uh, and, and really discuss his, his omnipresence, which means he's, he's present everywhere, always with us, his omniscience, uh, his, his, uh, uh, that he's all-knowing, that he is in, in charge of everything, his sovereignty, his providence, all those big churchy words. But that's what David is talking about all through this psalm. So now we get to these verses, and it's almost um, what, what do you do with that? And, and so David is kind of uh, shifts gears a little bit, and, and it's pretty uh, uh, raw, really, as David speaks of his uh, hatred for those that hate God. And so, all right, so let's look at this. At the very beginning, it says, How precious to me are your thoughts, O God, how vast is the sum of them. If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I'm still with you. So all that he's talked about, and now he comes back again and says, how, how precious to me are your thoughts, O God. Now here's what's interesting as you think about that word precious. Uh, it could also, it can mean, and I, we believe it does, weighty. How weighty are your thoughts, which means, wow, how incredible, how uh, powerful it is knowing that God is thinking uh, about us and has uh, our plans and knows us. I mean, that's overwhelming. And that's what David said, how precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them. How, how great uh, that uh, they, they are, uh, that God should think about us, how incredible that is. Um, and that, that it's, it's so much. And he said, I, if I would count them, they're, they are more than the sand. That's what he says. So that's, think about that. Think about how special that is, that God uh, his thoughts of us and and how he is uh, working in our life and moving in our life uh, that uh, he uh, we're on his mind and his heart I mean that's a powerful say and, and it's so so much uh, and so many thoughts of, of us that he it says uh, that I could count them there more than the sand uh, just uh, that is just an incredible real 
statement, authentic statement from David, just overwhelmed by his goodness and uh, the goodness of God. And he says, I awake and I'm still with you. Uh, listen, he understands how wonderful he is from, from morning to night, all day, uh, no matter what time it is, he knows that God loves him and he loves God. And that's pretty, pretty powerful. And moving on, verses 19 through 21, uh, 22, it says, Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God. O men of blood, uh, depart from me. They speak against you with malicious intent. Uh, your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, O God? And I, uh, do I not loathe those who rise up against you? Uh, I hate them with complete hatred. I count them my enemies. Now, is this... Uh, so, so vastly different than the rest of the psalm. Yes, it, it's very interesting, but uh, but I get it. I get what David is saying. So, but you have to to hear this. We think um, that is that wrong to to hate people and to those kind of things. But this is what is happening with David. Uh, he recognizes how great and powerful and wonderful God is. But there are those around him that. Uh, that uh, use God's name in vain, that speak down upon uh, God, who hate God. Um, and, and this comes back to how we live our life and, and that we, we should desire um, God's honor. We want with every aspect of our life to honor God. And we should be so passionate for him that we want his name glorified and honored in all the world. And, and so what David is doing, he's not hating people because they hate him. He's saying, I despise these people or I, I'm against these people because they hate God. Listen, his focus is totally on God's honor and glory. Uh, and so, you know, that that to me is a, uh, a raw picture of, of David's heart for the glory and for the honor of God. He opposes those that oppose God. Uh, that is um, that that is an incredible uh, that's the incredible heart of David uh, regarding them as enemies. But then he comes down uh, with that. So uh, in the next few verses, and I think this is important to set up because you think about he's, he's thought all about God's presence, all about God knowing him intimately. Uh, he's talked about how God is with him always and with us always. Talked about how he now he's thinking about those that are enemies that, that uh, are not giving God glory and honor and that uh, that it, it, it hurts him, it hurts David, it makes him upset uh, because he wants God to get the honor and glory. Uh, and then it comes to this. And, and I think it kind of wraps everything up. And now he's beginning to think and to plead before God, God, I want to make sure my thoughts and everything that I'm thinking in my heart are right. So now it goes back to what he's saying about his enemies. It's going back to what he says about uh, about our God. And so all this to make sure that what he's doing is right. And he goes and says this, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Uh, what an incredible passage. And, and I'm pretty sure at some point, if you've been coming to church or you're in Sunday school or Bible study or small group, whatever it may be, uh, at some point you've heard this passage and, and it's been your prayer. And, and, and that's not a bad, I hope it is. I hope it's all of our prayer that, that we would seek God's um, examination. And, and, and here's why. Um, because they're the deepest part of us. Uh, we, we can't, we don't know. God knows. Um, you know, it talks in scripture about, about the heart being deceitful. We, we need God to transform us. We need God to work in our life from the inside out to change us. And that starts with us being open and real with God and saying, God, search me, know my heart. Uh, and, because listen, he's saying all these words before, even the words about him uh, being uh, hating his enemies and things like that. And he's wanting to make sure that what he's doing and how he's living is right before God. And, and that should be our prayer. Now, listen, that it has to be real. It has to be authentic. It can't just be a show. And, uh, and so be very careful with those words. I, I've always thought uh, one, one thing that I was always told, never pray for patience because God's going to give you patience and, and make you have patience. And so uh, be careful of that. Listen, when you pray, God, examine my heart, uh, show me. Uh, what's going on in here and take things away that shouldn't be there and, uh, and, and lead me. Listen, when you start praying that, be ready. God's going to do it. And, and so don't just pray that prayer for show. Don't just pray it because you think you have to. 
you pray it because this is really where your heart is and where you're at. Um, listen, this takes God examining your heart, but it's also a part of what we do. Uh, we have to recognize where we are, and that's humility. So this this last part of Psalm 139 is a prayer of humility for us uh, and for, for David. Humbly, he comes before God and he says, I need you, God, to examine my heart. Uh, probably, David probably knew uh, that in the deepest core of his heart, there are things that shouldn't be there. And, and we're the same. So that's not a bad prayer. That's a great prayer that we uh, that we need to do. And, and I want to encourage you to do that. And David did all that. Why? Uh, so that he could end it with this and lead me in the way everlasting. We want God to change our heart. We want God to examine our hearts, not uh, so that we can just be punished. We want God to do that so we could be led in the way that he wants us to go. Uh, as we walk in a life of holiness and righteousness and uh, being set apart for him. So all this examination so that we can live for him. Um, so what a powerful um, word that we have in Psalm 139 about uh, how we're supposed to live. So hopefully uh, today, as you uh, go to work, as you go to school, wherever you're going today, uh, maybe not school, but wherever you're going, start your day off with this authentically real come to God saying God search my heart I know you're everywhere you know everything about me you know more about me than than I do search my heart examine my heart take away anything that's take, uh, that's pulling me away from you and uh, and lead me lead me today in the way that you want me to go uh, and I, I pray that's your prayer I, I pray that's my prayer today uh, because listen if we're not walking in God's will if we're not walking in God's purpose and plan, uh, then we're miserable. And so you want to be right where God wants you to be. And, and so may you pray that today. May I pray that today. And let's see what God's going to do with that. So thank you guys for, for jumping on. I uh, love you and uh, appreciate you so much. And um, so good to, um, uh, to, to know that we, we can connect this way. So uh, let me pray for us. And then after that, we'll be done. So let's pray. God, thank you for this week. Thank you for your, uh, the time that we have. Uh, just to hang out with this technology uh, with our uh, brothers and sisters in Christ and what a great opportunity. Well, uh, we just pray that you would examine our hearts truly uh, and lead us, God. Take away anything that's keeping us from you and keeping us from following you. And, and may we follow you wholeheartedly and, and you be glorified through us, God. We, I pray that we have such a passion for you and your name that uh, we would do whatever it takes uh, to make your name uh, known. And, and to honor your name. And may we despise um, uh, the times and the things and the people, really the, the ones that despise your name, but may we stand up for our faith. May we uh, shout from the mountaintops how uh, wonderful and amazing you are. May we be ready to uh, stand for our faith and, and for you. We love you. Thank you for today. And uh, we are so grateful. And uh, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, listen, uh, remember this, no matter where you find yourself today, uh, know that God has put you there for a purpose, so shine bright for him. And uh, again, pray for the Dover family today. Pray for Tina uh, and, the, and the kids as uh, they have visitation for Mark tonight uh, and then the uh, funeral tomorrow. So be praying for them. Thank you guys. Have a great uh, day. Have a great weekend. We'll see you at church Sunday uh, and then back here on Monday, 10 at 10.